business. Yep. yep. All right, we're back. We took a short break here at Turtle Island to say hi to Eustace and some helpers. I'm gonna so this swing. is a small oh, nuke right. that I split three weeks ago. And there's the bees already. And I left the queen in here with them two weeks ago. This is what's known as a queen cage. And when I got her, she was in this little cage with about four nurse bees. The nurse bees will feed her and take care of her. In the end of this was a piece of candy, like just sugar candy. Huh. And it takes about three days for the bees to eat that candy away for her to get out. And what that does is it allows the bees to get used to her pheromone. They smell that she's in there, but they, you know, it's a new queen to her. You don't want them to kill her because they may kill her and we're gonna find out if they have. Uh, but they shouldn't have, they didn't have a queen, they were queenless, so they were real happy to see her when I put her in there. They just got up around her, they balled up, and it looked like it was gonna go good. So we'll see real quick here if we got eggs. Exciting. Now that smoke, Kelly, can you tell us a little bit about that? So the smoke, what it does, Bees communicate through pheromones, and the smoke interrupts those pheromones that are in the air mm -hmm. and makes them so they can't communicate as well. So when they say, sting that fella, no one can hear. There's some drones in here. This is honey, they're capping, pollen. I'm looking for the queen. Are all bees called drones except no, the queen? No, the drone is the male bee, so oh. the males have it rough. A male is created from an unfertilized egg. Most all the bees are gonna be female. So the worker bees are females. Yep. Wow. And, and the drone is, how is the, he created again? Like They make the drone only for reproduction. Man. So they go way up in the air, 12, 1500 feet, and they mate. And when the drone mates with the queen, His mating appendage actually explodes. Wow. He falls off and dies. Wow. He served his life's purpose. And the queen will mate with about 15 to 18 of those drones. And once she does that, she's mated for life. She never has to mate again. Well, that's symbolic on so many levels. <laughs> and then when it gets fall and the queen senses that, you know, breeding season's really over. We don't need males. She won't make any. And they don't want to feed the males over winter. All that, the males didn't help bring in any pollen, any nectar, any water, or anything like that. So at fall time, the males get kicked out to starve to death. Mm. So it's not a real pleasant thing to be a male bee. And I'll bring this down here. They're really calm. Awesome. You can see That'd be great. in here. There's the white larva inside of there. Right. That's the brood. And that brood has been laid within the last six days. So our queen that we put in there is laying. So Good That's job, a good Queen thing. Bee. Good job. Yes. But you can see a little bit of honey that they're putting on the sides. There's a hive beetle. We need to get him and Kill smash him. him. But I brought some traps for them. How do you trap them? I got a little thing. You trap them using vegetable oil. So it's not toxic or anything for the bees. It's all natural. I'll show you here in just a second. Once I look at this last frame. I don't 
sees her, but she's in here somewhere. I'll take one last look for her. There she is, there she is. You found her. Ooh, if you could bring her up to my camera. Point her out. She's got a she's got a blue dot on her oh, on her yeah. back right there. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit bigger than them. He's hiding right up underneath there. Yeah. There she is. Yeah. So that's the girl that makes it all worthwhile and makes it happen. Without her, they'll die. Mm -hmm. Now they can take if she would die. If you get an egg that's been laid within three days, they can make a queen cup and it'll look like a little peanut. And they'll put that in there and they'll take that one day to three day old egg and they will feed that royal jelly what? its entire life. What's royal jelly? Royal jelly is a substance that the worker bees make from uh, up to about five days old. They've got a gland in their head and they secrete this royal jelly and that's what the queen bee eats. Now all bees eat that but the worker bees and drones only get it for three days. Mm -hmm. After that, they get bee bread. <laughs> and the amazing thing about that is, is that a worker bee will live about 45 days. A queen bee, because she's ate royal jelly her whole life, can live six years. So I did the math on that one time, so it figures out if we live to be like 70 and we could eat royal jelly, we would live to be like 35 or 3,800 years old. So where can That's we get royal difference. jelly? <laughs> <laughs> Any chance of us getting some of that royal jelly? <laughs> that that royal jelly makes for the queen. Man, That's there's incredible. something so sacred about this. So this hive is started once, once it fills out these last two frames. I only put three frames of brood in here. Then I put two empty frames. Once it fills out those two empty frames, I'll go ahead and I'll take those five frames and add them in here with five more empty frames. And then they can fill that hive up and they'll actually be, they won't be a nuke anymore, they'll be a colony. Mm. Uh, this is the, the hive beetle traps. And you can read, I mean, people buy them and throw them away, but I clean them out, wash them out. so. There's little holes in the top and the bees will chase these hive beetles to the corners and nooks and crannies and those hive beetles will go down in those. That's where and we then, found that one uh, hive beetle was right on the corner. And, mm -hmm. and he'll, they'll drown in that vegetable oil. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I'll put one of these in there that'll help keep the hive beetle problem down. Because what they'll do is the hive beetle get in there to lay eggs, the eggs will hatch and they come out as larvae, little worms. And then the little worms eat the honeycomb, the honey, and they'll even eat the brood. Uh -huh. And then after they get fat, the worms will go down and they'll crawl out the hive. They bore into the ground underneath and then they get a cocoon. And after they, they pupate and they come out as a beetle. Uh, so you wanna interrupt that life cycle and keep them from doing that as much as you can. Cause they'll devastate high. A beetle will lay an egg, and in three to four days, that thing will hatch. And with eight days, they can wipe out a hive if the oh hive's not strong. That's a weak hive because we just started it. So we want to make sure that we're taking steps to keep them from decimating that. Because they can, you can days. check on a hive an eight day later and come back and there's nothing left. Wow, that's intense. It's almost as bad as the government. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds very similar to me. Yeah. I'm just going to slide this in here between a couple frames. And then close this back up. And leave them go. They're doing good. Nice. They're collecting right now. I don't know what it is. Maybe you will use this. Right now I see them bringing in yellow pollen. And orange pollen. I'm not really sure. I'd have to think about it. Uh, I'll have to study for a minute. I'm still kind of learning and researching about the whole North Carolina thing. It's kind of new to me what the seasons are and how things go. 
So this is where it might get hairy here. I'm gonna open this big hive up. Okay. There's way more bees in here. And this has been home for... They're a lot more protective. They've been established for a long time. So yeah, they... This has been home for over a year for them. They're just right at a year old right now, this, this hive. Uh, we did this same thing to them last year about this time. From one year, this is what they've become with a little help and someone looking after them. Thank you. So this super I put up here two weeks ago, hoping that they would fill it. But first they gotta make wax, wax. It's made by your worker bees also. And they're not really doing anything with it, so I might as well just pull it off, probably. Once we look in here. So this is an old hive beetle trap that I'm gonna to replace today. I'll take this home and I clean it all up and clean them out and reuse it. But you can see all the beetles that it's caught. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Very good. Good trapper. These have Sourwood honey. honey in them. Oh, yeah. I would love to see that clear honey. When I was up here a couple weeks ago. Got stung. See that? Mm hmm. You see, it went straight back. You see that? They uh, were just starting to cap this stuff. This is capped. Yeah. As they as they make the wax, they'll make the wax, and these honeycombs are on a little bit of an angle. I think it's mm -hmm. 11 degrees, if I remember right. But uh, that keeps the honey from drop, you know, running out. Oh. Yeah. So they're on an angle uphill. Cool. And then once they get them full, and the moisture content gets down enough, which I think is about 18 percent humidity, uh, then they'll cap that with wax. Amazing. For their food for winter. That's pure sourwood there. Yep. That's the good stuff. So they're Y'all see how clear that was? Still working. They got a little room here to fill up at least four more frames to make it complete. How many times have you gotten the stung there, too? Twice. Uh -huh. Oh, you're really great. There's several of them that are after you. Yeah. See, see when they keep hitting them like that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. So I'm going to break this loose. I'm going to spin it just a little bit. They, they glue everything together with propolis. Propolis is basically sap from trees, pine trees, any tree that really makes sap. They make that into glue. Busy bees. I'm going to put my gloves upset. on. They're getting angry. The angrier the deeper I go. But I'm really just looking to make sure there's not wax moth larva in here. There's not hive beetle larva in here. And that I'm going to refresh in these traps here. This is the season where this stuff can get out of hand quick. <laughs> oh boy, here they come. <laughs> they don't like that. <laughs> I can hear them too. Pretty cool. Another one full of high beetles. Oh, yikes. No signs of beetles or moths or larvae. 
that I can see. <laughs> so we'll put them back together. Give them some fresh traps. I'll go ahead and put this back on for now. They could still fill it. And then we are done. Nice, Kelly. Nice Kelly, Except I need my inner you're cover. amazing, Kelly. Because it's overcast, I'm assuming you guys got some rain, maybe a thunderstorm or something here. Yeah, it makes they don't like the difference in barometric pressure. Mm -hmm. So if you're working with bees and it's overcast and cloudy, they get temperamental. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see right here. Yeah, bright, hot, sunny day. So I'm going to come that way. Oh, I'm getting out of here. Okay. So, <laughs> so we'll just back away because you're going to bring that cloud with you. They will follow me, and I'm going to go to the back of the truck. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, yes. Kelly. Thank yep. you, Thank Kelly. You, Kelly.